So let's do a quick recap on what we've got to so far. So we've got three cases for solving our homogeneous equation, okay, differential equation. So either the auxiliary equation gives you two distinct real roots. So two distinct real roots for the auxiliary equation, and let's call them m1 and m2, in which case the general solution will be of the form y is equal to some constant c1 times e to the power of m1x plus some constant c2 e to the power of m2x. Okay, so that is one possibility. Another possibility is that we get one repeated real root. So one repeated real root. Okay, and let's call that M. Then the form would be y is equal to, open bracket, some constant, 1, so C1, uh, times x, plus another constant, C2, e to the power of m times x. And so that is the format we would need to use if we've got one repeated real root for the auxiliary equation. If, on the other hand, we get complex roots, so um, complex conjugate roots, okay, so let's call it m is equal to, um, we could have p plus qi, for example, or p plus or minus qi rather, then the format would be y is equal to e to the power of the real part, p times x, open bracket, c1, cosine of qx, plus, well, let's pop it down here, c2, sine of qx. Okay, and so we've got these three situations that we need to be able to deal with.